Do you think the renewables cannot replace coal? It can't replace. I mean, if we had we can't create enough? coal generating everything, then when the wind blows, you'd be burning less coal. In the, in, uh, in the micro scale, it can replace coal. But in Ontario, it can't replace coal you're shutting down because coal is there to save our bacon when, when demand is high or supply is low. It is the dispatchable, flexible, reliable thing in the system. Wind isn't going to replace coal directly. Nobody pretends it's going to. But a balanced grid with wind spread throughout the province can significantly contribute to our energy supply. A lot of money is going to be poured into uh, developing technology for coal and oil sands so they can be used in a much more environmentally friendly way. And by this I mean the investments in carbon capture and storage technology. That investment and that research is being speed it up as part of the uh, stimulus package and people can be put to work on that research and demonstration and pilot projects in fairly short, or short order. If you're actually going to talk about an energy strategy for Ontario, you have to put in place the efficiency, you have to go after the worst and biggest polluters and there's no question the Nanticoke plant is that. Could you put scrubbers on those coal-fired generating stations and do enough of the job to allow them to stay open and keep the lights on, which is what everybody's worried about at the end of the day. I don't think so. No? You, you can scrub out the toxic, the mercury, but you can't deal with the greenhouse gases, and thus you can't deal with their impact on climate change. That's the fundamental problem with those plants. I mean, the, the toxic emissions are a huge problem as well, but if you continue to pump out that much carbon dioxide, you have huge impact on the planet. I endorse putting scrubbers on the plants if you, because, the, because the, the mercury is, a, is a, a real and substantive problem that's accumulating in our ecosystem right now. The, the NOx, the, the nitrogen oxides, are, are at the root of the smog problem and are causing a huge problem with the bad air days in Ontario. These are things that you can scrub out. Uh, but the carbon dioxide, unfortunately in Ontario, we don't have any options on that. So your preference is still to close the plants altogether? Well, Mike, they've made... They've made a decision to keep them open for this period of time. I say, uh, put the scrubbers on. So. How much would it cost to put scrubbers on? No, it's billions. There's no question. Billions. 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 Is it a good, uh, adequate, intelligent use of the money? Well, it, it is that. I think so. It's not, it's not the, the, the suitable outcome. I'd sooner have a reduction in the conservation of energy and close the plants down because we don't need them or shut them down and operate them only when we do need them. But given we're operating them at a, a very high level uh, and we, going forward that looks like, like what's going to happen, then I think that we have to. The combined uh, coal assets of Ontario last year, uh, according to the IESO, the Independent Electricity System Operator, produced 25 million tonnes. 25 million tons of CO2 produced by the coal-fired generating stations. By the coal-fired generating stations. And how much by nuclear plants? How much, how much what by CO2? nuclear plants? CO2, zero, zero, right? One thing we know for certain, and surely we can agree on, is that every year we have a, a harsh winter and a hot summer. These things happen, and you need a plentiful supply of energy to meet those needs. And that comes from high-level concentrated power, be it coal, be it nuclear. How much kilowatt per hour? How much is energy? Uh, yeah, like you, you want to build a brand new one with all the bells and whistles. You're talking about six to eight cents a kilowatt hour. With carbon sequestration? That's, that's all the conventional pollutants, so there's no smog, right? There's uh, no smog there's from no a coal-fired generating station. That, just like, they're, like from Keep Hills 3, Genesee, uh, that they built in Alberta right now. There's no smog from those plants. Can we do that here? Well, we have Hey, we've got them already. We've got, we've got a couple coal plants that have really very good, not state-of-the-art, a little notch below state-of-the-art, but we have smog-free coal plants in Ontario today running.